In this video, we will discuss food safety best practices for harvesting elderberry. This is the second video in a series. If you haven't already, you may wish to watch the first video on pre-harvest practices. Blue elderberry has a long harvest window that runs from mid-June to mid-September. The berries are ripe when they develop a white bloom. As they continue to ripen, the bloom will fade, revealing blue-black colored berries. While berries can be harvested after the white bloom develops, they are more evenly ripened after the bloom fades. When harvesting, it is a best practice to exclude umbels with unripe or green berries. This is because unripe berries, as well as leaves and stems, may contain a compound, sambunagrin, which is a cyanogenic glycoside that can cause gastrointestinal disorders such as nausea, vomiting, weakness, and dizziness when ingested in large quantities. The presence of wildlife is natural and often unavoidable on a farm. However, animal feces can carry pathogens which can contaminate produce. Reduce the risk of harvesting contaminated fruit by monitoring for wildlife. Taking appropriate steps to exclude wildlife from the crop. Conducting a pre-harvest inspection. It is important that elderberry harvesters take steps to reduce the risk of biological contamination from animal feces, especially birds. One way to do this is by scouting prior to harvest. Harvesting of blue elderberries is typically done by hand. Harvesting consists of removing entire cymes and later removing berries from the stems, also called destemming. Use cleaned and sanitized harvest tools and bins. When harvesting, place fruit into cleaned, sanitized, reusable containers or new single-use containers. If you are harvesting and see that a cyme of berries has droppings on it, don't touch it. Flag the cluster in a way that indicates it cannot be harvested and only harvest cymes of berries that haven't been contaminated with fecal matter. Different farms may have different no-harvest zone buffer policies. You may also consider using devices to discourage birds, like reflective streamers or noisemakers. It is recommended that tools and equipment for handling animal droppings be designated for this purpose and kept separate from all other tools and equipment. If you do accidentally touch animal droppings while harvesting, make sure to immediately stop and wash and sanitize your hands before continuing harvest. Produce that has fallen on the ground should never be harvested. Harvest bins should not be placed directly on the ground without a protective barrier to minimize cross-contamination. Elderberries are perishable, so it's a best practice to transfer them to a cool location soon after harvest. 